What is up my friends? I just got out of the gym. A little flex city flex for you guys. Here, let's let's get some good angles because it's all about the angles. Actually it's not, but here's here's a good angle where I'm really just not trying to out angle anything. I'm going from the side or anything like that. So arms swole as fuck, which felt good. So arm, uh, arm workout today, um, it went really, really well. Um, stuck to my plan. Took it out of the Furious 60 cutting guide. Um, we started off with, I'm going to go ahead and read it, read it off to you guys because it was a really solid workout. I feel really pumped right now and I can't really, well, I needed to go outside without my jacket on just because I can show you guys my gains. No, because it was hot and everything. So essentially I'm doing what Brian Shaw does, except he goes into an ice cold bath. I just go into ice cold weather. It's not the same. Uh, but anyways, arm day. Uh, I started off with easy uh, bar curls standing. Uh, four sets, uh, reps 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, then we did tricep push downs, really heavy actually. Um, I did a couple warm up sets just to see how heavy I can go. So we actually did the full stack on uh, this machine. You know, every machine's different. You know, you go full stack, you can go half a stack and it can feel exactly the same. It's all about the way the pulleys are run and everything. So four sets, reps 10, 10, 10. Uh, went to dumbbell hammer curls, uh, four sets, reps, 10, 10, 10, 10, uh, skull crushers. I went pretty heavy on this. Uh, it felt good. I was going a little bit wider rather than narrow. Um, my wrists were a little, uh, but I feel like even on skull crushers, even if your grip is a little bit more wider than, um, than the narrow, it's a little bit more wider than shoulder width. Uh, you still really target those triceps because of the movement that you're doing. As long as you're keeping your elbows uh, in as tight as possible, as close as possible, you can definitely get a proper contraction right there. Um, then we did uh, concentration curls, uh, three sets, 12, 12, 12, and then dips uh, or a dip machine up to you, uh, 20, 15, 15. Um, and everything felt really, really on point. Um, got this workout done in like an hour or something like that, not even. Um, you can get this workout in pretty quick, get a really good, good pump and really actually, apart from pump, you know, it's one thing to get a pump and actually one thing to get a proper workout. I might be speed talking just because I was really into it and I'm really going right now. So you guys probably are going to comment, oh, too much pre-workout and all that stuff. He took four scoops and everything. Well, it was just three. Okay, calm down. Um, but that being said, there's a big difference between uh, a pump and a good workout with your arms and getting a pump. Um, anyone can just take some bands, for an example, and just keep pumping like for 200 reps and get a pump. So what we're trying to do is yes, with an arm workout, you wanna get a pump, but you wanna make sure that you also tear that muscle apart because that's what we're going into the gym for, to tear apart that muscle and then rebuild it with nutrition and rest, right? So make sure that it's not just all about getting that pump and getting that proper selfie or, or picture or whatever it is because it's it's got to be much more than that so a really good workout for you guys if you guys need a good arm day try it um also if you want to do if you want to pick up the fury 60 cutting guide uh lots of arm and every kind of workout in there for 60 days straight so on sale right now as you guys may or may not know from my social media link in the description below um but uh i'll also probably post that workout in the description if I don't forget. Remind me if I forget. Um, but that being said, what did I want to touch base on? I wanted to touch base on filming in the gym, public gym, uh, and these type of workouts versus non-filming. Um, in the past, I've vlogged a lot of gym workouts, a ton. And uh, I even remember doing it in, uh, I think when I was training at Anytime Fitness. And I got some good workouts in there. I, f I filmed some really cool stuff. Um, but the thing that really takes you away from the workout is focusing on filming, making sure that the angle is right, making sure that nobody is getting in the way of your camera, setting up your tripod, all this other stuff. So if you are going to the gym alone and filming, it's fucking hard to concentrate. It's fucking hard to get a proper workout in. Now, when you're doing something like deadlifts or heavy, heavy bench, and I'm in the privacy of my own gym, 
which I get it, or, or home gym, whatever it is that you have, right, in a garage, um, because that's essentially what I have, you can set up your, your camera and everything like that, you know, make sure your form is right. You have a lot of time in between sets. When you're at the public gym, especially a busy one like I go to right now, it is really difficult to set up a camera uh, and focus on setting up a camera and not focusing and, and being able to focus on your workout as well. So, um, as a result, I have not been filming uh, my workouts when I come to a public gym. And for that, for some of you guys, I apologize because these workouts this past month, two months, two months I would say, maybe even three months, have been some of the best workouts I've ever had. And it's because I'm focusing so damn hard. I know that me personally, I was training so damn hard every single day or every time I was training, I was training so damn hard in order to not be a pussy when I went down to train with Brian Shaw. And I know I wasn't super strong, and I know I wasn't as strong as the world's strongest man, obviously not. But I think I held my own. I think I did well considering everything that went ha that happened, you know. I did 635 pound deadlift, which I'm so damn pleased with, and I know I can go heavier. Um, but that being said, I just, I've been busting my ass. And I also wish that I filmed a lot of these workouts because they've been going really, really well. And I know they're going to be motivating as hell for you guys and uh, hopefully maybe even like push you guys to, you know, the next level. Um, because that's what these videos are all about. It's not to just post it up because I enjoy watching it. I'm just hoping that you guys can get motivated and, and push yourself and everything like that. Even when, you know, you're, you're uh, faced with some difficulties on a day to day. We got to look past that and look past all the stress and everything like that. So, um... I'm hoping that I'm going to start, I have a cameraman, I have, uh, I'm have. i going to hire Brock a little bit more often and uh, get him to film these workouts and uh, get them down and get them up for you guys because I think they're going really, really well and I'm pushing myself really, really hard, harder than I've ever pushed myself. So um, I'm hoping that you know we can get some content up for you guys, but it's just a totally different mindset not filming and filming yourself in the gym. You know, this is this is my life. This is how I got to my level is by by doing videos and everything like that. But it just hasn't felt right. It wasn't right, and uh, I wanted to focus on the most important task at hand, which is getting better, getting stronger, and getting to the level that I want to be at. And I think we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, but in the meantime, I think it's time to. Uh, get somebody to film me a little bit more often and uh, show you guys all the workouts that we're doing so uh, Forgive me once again for not posting workouts all the time, but it's definitely a totally different mental game uh, Between working out with a camera on you by you actually You know setting up the camera then by actually somebody filming you because then I can just concentrate, not even give a shit about anybody filming me and just do exactly the same thing I would do if there was no filming whatsoever. A lot of tongue twisters. I probably said a million and a half words doing whatever it is that I just vlogged about. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your daily support. This V-neck will be up next Friday for you guys. One more flex for the end of the day because it's Flex Friday. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your daily support. And thank you to everyone that came out to uh, Algonquin College because uh, it was such a fucking amazing turnout. I was so pumped. And uh, thank you to everyone that stood in line for nearly three hours, some of you guys just to take a picture and share your story. So I totally appreciate that. And uh, hopefully you guys appreciated that I st stayed there to midnight. The plan was to actually stay, uh, to, to drive home that same night, but because it got so late, we had to crash the night and uh, it's so be it. It was totally worth it. All right, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for your day's support again. Team Fury is dedicated for life, D4L. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get late. Workout hard as fucking rock so I'm trying to break it apart just